See, here's what's absolutely hilarious. I just got a tip. Someone saying, it's okay if you say Final Fantasy 16 or Tears of the Kingdom were bloated, but it doesn't make the people who disagree with you objectively wrong. I didn't say they were. When did I say that? I said, if you love all the optional content of Final Fantasy 16 and Zelda, you're a moron. I'm saying that these games overall are bad. So when I criticize Tears of the Kingdom, and I tell you, the pacing's bad, the writing's bad, it's a horrible story, don't tell me there's a straw man argument that I'm saying that I hated the game. I never said that. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> Band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bounce, bounce. I'm actually a virgin. <laughs> See this fucking piece of garbage disc? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. What is going on everyone? Phil here and welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. Welcome to an exciting new week of gameplay streams here on DSP Gaming and welcome to what will undoubtedly be a very special stream because ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to hit my 1,000th loss in Street Fighter 6 on this very session of gameplay. I need 19 more. That's gonna be epic. I'm very excited. I hope that you guys are too. Yes, during this stream, I'm going to literally go on a non-stop losing streak. I am Dark Side Phil. Yesterday was my day off, so we'll talk about that all day long. <clears throat> And now we come back to a full week of streams. This is an epic week, because not only will I be making big progress in Street Fighter VI, we're going to be completing likely two of my ongoing playthroughs. Finally, we will have some new stuff into the rotation for variety. I'm very aware that many people have been upset about the rotation. If you like fighting games, you're probably really enjoying my coverage of Street Fighter VI. And for those that don't, enjoy your permanent ban. There is no recovery, it's instant block. If you're here for variety like you usually would get on DSP Gaming, sadly you weren't really getting it. Again, we've talked about this many times over the last 30 days. It's because of the game release timing. All these game publishers and studios decided to release their insanely lengthy RPGs within one month. It's just too effing much. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Diablo 4, and Final Fantasy 16 RPG Overload, they really should not have done that. They should have looked at the gaming landscape and said, hey, if we want to release these RPGs and not have them cut into each other and not have them cannibalize each other, then we've got to spread them out. But I don't have a source to cite. I literally just admitted to my audience I've done no research. Within the month of June, that's the other thing that gets me too. June, it's not an exciting gaming month. All of a sudden, they released all their RPGs at the same time. What on earth are they doing? When Zelda was coming out, I posed the question, what should I play and what shouldn't I? Everyone absolutely demanded that I play Zelda. Zelda is a must-play. Okay, I'll play it then. So I do, but then Street Fighter VI is coming out, and then Diablo is coming out. And I said to all of you, maybe Diablo is a skip. No, you must play Diablo at launch. You must cash in on the hype, okay? And then when that happens, of course, Final Fantasy XVI comes out again. No, you must play it. And I'm just like, without enough variety, things will stagnate. Here's the thing. In the last month, things have gone well on DSP Gaming in regards to Street Fighter VI. My attendance on Street Fighter streams is high. My support on Street Fighter streams is usually high. But everything else is waned. We've lost a ridiculous amount of members on the channel. Before this month started, we were 800 members. We're now at 480. I demand more. Sorry. I deserve it. Come on. So the point I'm making here is... In this last month, I've gotten more complaints than anything else from people who just like the variety and don't feel like they've gotten it. That's because I did what I was told by my viewing audience. This is what happens when you're a variety creator like me. You're kind of at the mercy of game release dates, and sadly, you can't just please everyone. It was insanely bad release timing for these companies releasing their RPGs. <laughs> Every time I play Final Fantasy 16, half of the stream is boring as dirt. Everyone is bored to tears, the viewers and me. Do we really want to play a lengthy RPG where 50% of our time is bored to tears? Sadly, it seems like that's the game they made. This game is shitty. They ruined Final Fantasy. The narrative is boring and the game sucks. But I bought it. I spent 70 bucks on this damn game. And I've already committed 15 plus hours to it. So the way I would say it is, listen, we don't have to continue. We could do something else. But I want to be sure we're all on the same page here. Because there seem to be some people that every time I play it, oh, don't worry, the better part's coming. All right, well, we're 15 hours in. When's the better part? I think maybe the games isn't for you. Out of all the people I've watched play it, they love the world building and pacing. Okay, question. What do they do for the two hours where they're doing bullshit? How do you find entertainment in that? No, really, I mean it now. I'm a streamer. I'm a content creator. I'm an entertainer. I'm 41 years old. I'm supposed to be doing stuff that entertains, 
not forcing myself to play a game for two hours before I get to an hour of enjoyment. I don't know what they were thinking, but they could have done a lot better. I don't think they've heard of pacing before. They easily could have cut out a bunch of this nonsense. If I'm playing a game, I want to be enjoying myself. I don't want to be wasting time on your menial shit. I, I mean, game developers should be looking to entertain first, not fill time. Too many game developers are looking to fill time and put a stamp on their game saying, 100 hours of gameplay. Half of that gameplay is not meaningful. It's it's becoming too difficult for me to entertain an audience for a game that's full of boredom and blow. Obviously, I've gone on a rant, but the rant is warranted. These RPGs today aren't streamlined enough to be entertaining to any kind of an audience because they waste too much time. Wow, we're so excited for Final Fantasy 16. Why are we still in a cutscene? Why are we talking to the townspeople again? You're putting me to sleep. I paid $70 for this. This is now the biggest entertainment medium in the world, right? Imagine if you went to see a movie, and it's a two and a half hour movie, and out of that movie, one hour and 45 minutes, you are bored to tears, but there's one really good sequence of a half an hour. Would you say it's a good movie? No, that movie sucked. But yet games are exactly that, but we all give them a pass. Why do you think people are so bored with Final Fantasy 16 on my streams? Get the fat off of there and just give me the lean, delicious stuff. See, here's the thing. Anso Kamaru says people want to enjoy a game and immerse themselves in the lore. Oh, lore, world building. Ooh, I need to be immersed in this universe of bullshit. It's all bullshit. Wow. None of the side quests are boring. There are plenty of side quests that tie directly to the story. We haven't done a single side quest that's been meaningful, and I did a few of them, and every one of them was just a time waster. Literally nothing added to the lore of the game. It's just boring. Doesn't add anything. It's a side story for the sake of having a side story. Now you say world building and immersion. Here's what I consider being immersed. Playing any game for 30 to 40 hours, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like I've been a part of this world for a month and a half. I feel immersed in it. Now you can say, but Phil, actually Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has 100 hours of content and you skipped 50 hours. Who cares? I played the game for 50 hours. I have just as much of a legitimate reason to review it as anyone else. Just because there's 40 more hours of content doesn't make it more immersive. It makes it more time consuming. Final Fantasy 16 attempts to immerse you in the world, immerse me with things that mean something. Actual world building, not the guy has to take a shit and I have to find a way to clean the outhouse for him. That's boring. It's boring. Sorry, and I'm done with it. Yes, Tears of the Kingdom is a great game and also has a bunch of bloated, boring, time-wasting content that just annoys you if you're trying to actually get progress in the game. Final Fantasy 16 seems to be exactly the same. My time is valuable. I don't have time to waste. Give me fun experiences. I'm getting older. I paid my money. I didn't want to waste my time playing your boring shit. Seriously, I boot up Final Fantasy 16. There better be something on every stream that entertains me. If not, the game developer failed, not me. You want to know a game blew me away that was streamlined? Mafia 2. Mafia 2 is a game that almost has no side content whatsoever. Give me a game like that. Give me 40 hours of good content and tell me where the good content is. Phil just wants a game that's on rails. Correct. Yesterday, someone left a comment on my video that drove me nuts. Here's what they said. So let me get this straight, Phil. You went to the Great Fairy and you don't have in 50 hours of gameplay enough moblin horns to do a basic armor upgrade. Wow. To which I responded to the comment, yeah, wow. Nintendo didn't make it so that the item drops. Nintendo made the game, not me. Your comment completely proves my point about these games. You did it, you hit it on the head. You kill a million enemies and rarely do you get an item you actually need for anything constructive. I should be getting the items. You failed. I beat every dungeon. I fought all the mobs along the way. Nintendo failed, not me. We should demand better. Imagine if Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was 100 hours and all 100 hours was interesting narrative and extrapolation and fun and not just wandering circles wondering if you'll ever get the item you need to upgrade. Gee, did I stumble upon a stable that starts a critical quest line that's important? No, cut out your 40 hours of fat bullshit. But instead, people just continue to kiss the ass. Kiss the ass, you'll get more blow. You'll get more boredom. All right, I've ranted and ranted again. I think we're done with the rants here. Stop with the ranting. All right. The good news is two of these lengthy RPGs are about to conclude this week. And I am hoping that this will bring back some attention to the channel and hopefully we'll get some more support back as well in the realm of channel side support. Cause I'll tell you the daily streams have been good. Tips and everything have been great, but I saw a big decline in things like super chats and memberships. And that's not good. There's not much I could do about it when I'm doing as much as I possibly can to juggle and play all the new releases. So let's see how it goes, but uh, I'm excited for this week for sure. By the way, thank you to Luthace who just gifted 10 memberships to the channel. 
channel. 10 member bomb. That's just stupidity. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with everyone. I'm really looking forward to today's stream and I hope it goes well because I'm kind of stressed out right now. I'm gonna explain a little bit about that, but not everything right now, but I'm kind of stressed out about certain things going on in my personal life. And I'm hoping that today's stream can be a productive one. So we'll see how it goes. This one tuft of hair. <laughs> is uncontrollable. No matter what I do, this one tuft of hair just does whatever it wants. You notice that? You got the sweats. But anyway, where do we even begin? Um, let's get the day off segment out of the way. It's bloated content, not needed. So, let's talk. Yesterday was my day off from streaming. Weather was incredibly warm. It was so hot outside. That I actually limited what I was doing because it was in the mid-90s, you know? When it gets that hot, it's not feasible to be out all day, you know? So basically, I limited the amount of stuff that I wanted to do during my day off because of the heat so all day we had the air conditioners blasting in the house you know i went out and ran my errands grocery shopping pet supplies wwe champions all the usuals nothing too particularly crazy or anything like that but i will say this jasper he's been a terror these last couple of days pooping and peeing all over the place i need you to know the ins and outs of what our cat does because it's been so hot i think his behavior changes right this happens with cats is when things distinctly change in the environment, then they change their behaviors as well. And what we've noticed is two things. Number one, he wakes up early. Like, like, way earlier than, than what we need to get up. Jasper, we're not getting up now. Why are you doing this? We're not getting up right now. Supposed to be our day off. Why are you waking us up so early in the morning? And then number two, um, he's been acting up and really, really demanding a lot of attention. Like, every waking moment, he wants attention from us. And if we don't give it to him, then he starts to try to misbehave. Because he knows if he misbehaves and does things he's not supposed to do, he'll get our attention. You know what I mean? It's tough, and you know, without going into massive detail about it, he has been kind of getting us on our wits end. When he's with us and we're relaxing, and you know, he's purring and he wants pets or whatever, that's cute. But then it's like, okay, Jasper, we're in the middle of doing something, you know, we can't be with you every moment. Oh, but that's it, he's dancing all over everything, right in front of us where he's not supposed to be. He jumps on things and goes places and tries to eat things he knows he's not supposed to eat, but he's doing it on purpose. He wants that attention. He 100% is the kind of pet that is ultra demanding of all attention. Like father, like son. You said it best, brother. By the Way, I'm not complaining. He's an amazing cat and an awesome pet. But yeah, he's got us on our wits end, <laughs> you know, causing problems and just constantly kind of trying misbehavior. So then on top of that, this is going to lead into our schedule for the weekend. I made an announcement yesterday that the schedule for the weekend is changing. It is. Normally, as you guys know, every Saturday, I do a show called DSP vs. the Internet on my sister channel, DSP Reacts, where the channel members on that channel nominate clips, and we watch them live, and that's the premise of the show, is me live reacting to content once a week. Only reason the show works is because of the buy-in of the members, so... This week's no exception. It would be great if we can get some support for the React show. Typically when I stream that, I get almost no support on that live stream. It's usually dead for support. Maybe I'll get one or two tips. Maybe I'll get one or two super chats. But typically it's like super slow and dead. Well, here's what happened. Without giving you details, I have learned from experience something very important. Okay, here's what I have learned. Do not publicly speak about a situation until that situation is resolved. The less information I give you right now, the better, until a situation is resolved, and then I can tell you the whole story. Because then it's a better story, because you know what happened with it. You see? Yesterday, something happened during my day off. Now, I am going to be interrupted, no matter what, during tomorrow afternoon. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. There's no way around it. I have to be interrupted tomorrow afternoon, okay? It makes more sense to be interrupted during a gameplay stream versus a stream that I only do once a week that's tied to support on a channel and if I have time away from that stream people are disappointed because we watched less clips. You understand? DSP versus the internet is supposed to be a guaranteed three hour show. That's not fair to those who paid to be a part of that show. That's why I have to change the schedule around for the weekend. If I'm going to be interrupted during gameplay, big deal. But once a week, these people are contributing and waiting to have their clips watched. And if I don't watch them, that's messed up. So I'm trying to get the word out. I don't want people to show up on Saturday and be like, oh no, where's the react show? So that's the deal, all right? Not only do we have Jasper kind of driving us nuts, but then I got other things going on and now my schedule's thrown into disarray. Stress on, stress on, stress. And it's annoying. It is. Hopefully everything today goes well. We have a good session of Street Fighter. By the way, Nathan just gifted 10 more memberships to the channel. He's a complete idiot. Folks, we've got a couple news stories to cover today. All right, let's talk about said news stories. News story number one. Meta, which used to be Facebook, but now they're called Meta to sound like they're more important than they are. They're not. They're actually really short-sighted and a terrible company, but they want to sound like they're Meta, so they name themselves Meta, right? This company has launched their own version of Twitter that's called Strands, is it? I think it's called Loose Strings. That's the name of it, Loose String. You know how when you have a shirt and there's like a dangling string off of it? 
and you're like, oh god, and it bothers you. And all you want to do is you want to wrap it around your finger, rip it off your shirt. That's what they actually named their company after. You know, it's genius. I don't know anything about it. I don't even understand what it is. I don't. I know nothing whatsoever about it. They also made a logo. Have you seen the logo? Is that a piece of hair that got stuck in your belly button and you pulled it out? Is that like a curly pig's tail? It's probably the worst logo I've ever seen for anything in my life. Already people have asked me, am I going to make a Threads account? No, I'm not. Reason number one, I have found absolutely positively zero positive impact for having a Twitter account. Anytime that I've gone viral on Twitter, my viral tweet about Pro Jared years ago, my viral tweet about the Oscars has benefited my business zero percent. I haven't gotten an additional viewer, I haven't gotten an additional dollar, I haven't gotten an additional anything from being viral on Twitter. Twitter is literally a waste of time. Number two, I hate Facebook. When I first started on YouTube, I didn't have a Facebook and people yelled at me to have a Facebook. So eventually I made a Facebook page, but then the Facebook had limitations of how many friends you could have. So I had a Facebook fan page. And then I tried to mirror on my Facebook what I would post up on my Twitter and all of that. What ended up happening was the thing got hacked. And guess what the restoration process is on Facebook? You'll love this one. Can you name these people who are on your friends list? No, the people on my friends list are my viewers and fans online. I have thousands of them. I don't know who they are. So how would I ever restore my account? Yeah, I'm not using threads. It's a waste of time. I'm not going to bother with it. The best way to follow me is to subscribe to DSP Gaming, to subscribe to DSP Reacts, to look at the community post daily. That's where the information is of what's going on with me. All right, that's the news for today. What I'd like to do is get to shout outs. So, not surprisingly, Game Trekker has a lot to say about my gameplay of Street Fighter VI. Ugh. And he starts off today with a $29.99 tip. Casanova, what are you talking about? I need to change an N to an M. In what? You're guaranteed to block. I received another $5 tip from Game Tracker, and this is again about drive pairing. By the way, anyone who is bitching in the chat is getting banned right now. I've had enough. The whole point of this podcast is to suck in knowledge about games and the like. This is the time for this kind of discussion. If you don't like it, don't watch the podcast and come back when I'm playing the game because you're complaining about contributions and me learning about the game. Leave. You're going to get kicked in the face. We're on a podcast. The podcast discusses all the games I'm currently playing. Someone wants to contribute to the podcast and give me concrete advice about the game we're literally about to play. Oh, that's bad. Sit in the chat and complain. Go away. Stop bothering all of us who are intelligent and are trying to learn and get better at games. Just leave. Okay. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't have a negative win-loss ratio. Monkey Spank, enjoy your permanent ban. He says, I shouldn't talk about Street Fighter 6 at all in any competitive capacity because I have a negative win-loss ratio, which I don't. He's a complete idiot. Okay, continuing on. I received a dollar for the tip from an anonymous tipper. He says, what about an RPG like Persona 5 where the side content is the meat of the game? In Persona series, if you don't do the side missions, you're essentially missing all of the character building of the game, right? You're getting tons of additional story. You're getting more meaning around the characters. Oh, and by the way, most of the content is meaningful to the game. When you're doing those social links, you're, you're leveling up your, your, uh, your, your, uh, Oh my god, why can't I remember the names of them? The Summon Monsters? The, what are they called in that game? I can't even remember the name of it now. Oh, Persona. They're just called Personas. Duh. I received a dollar tip. Uh, hold on, it's a troll. Ignore that. Snow Carl. I watched some of your Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I noticed that you complain about the game quite a bit. Drop the game. You weren't paying attention. I absolutely did. Snow Carl did another tip. He says, I'm nearing the end of my 20s. I feel fatigued playing a few hours of Dota or FIFA. Do you do hand stretching exercises? I could if I needed to. Oh, it feels good too. And uh, I do have things such as hand exercisers. See? And these help a lot actually. Something like this, a little egg. Just squeezing. You squeeze hard on something like this. Dude, actually, all the muscles in your arms start getting worked. And it feels really good. It does. You know? For someone who, for me, like I'm playing games all day, something like this could be a godsend. When I get older and I start getting, you know, carpal tunnel issues and things, yeah, it's just something as simple as this. But, uh, guess what? We're finally through all the contributions. So now, we can actually end the show and we can move on and we can actually play Street Fighter, which I've wanted to do. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Looks good. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Thank you for being patient and thank you for watching. Are you guys aware they're making another Ninja Turtles movie? The Ninja Turtles aren't even teenage? It's pretty sad. Really? Really? He's a complete idiot.